Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. As I pointed out last week, research shows that most investors and investment advisors woefully underperform the markets. How woeful is woeful? Over the past 30 years, that meant leaving an average of $7,100 per year on the table for every $100,000 invested. For a 401k that grows to $1 million at retirement, this means $71,000 less in retirement income to spend every year. And that's a really big deal. The reason is when it comes to investing, our brains are wired for failure. And that includes the brains of investment advisors. You need a system that will make it difficult to give in to your brain's tendency to panic and sabotage your own investments. Research shows one system that works is to invest a specific percentage of your portfolio in several asset classes and then readjust by either selling gains or buying up losses. Uh, each asset class back to the original target allocation at least once a year. This is called a static buy and hold strategy with periodic rebalancing. That's a mouthful. Creating such a diversified portfolio, though, isn't as hard as it sounds. It's really simple. The hard part is to keep following the strategy during market ups and downs. The easiest way I know of doing this is to give the maintenance of your asset allocation and rebalancing over to someone else with the disciplines and processes in place to follow the strategy come hell or high water. Many 401k plans will do this for you if you set them up correctly. First, you will do the best you can not to use the asset allocation fund provided on the 401k platform. The recent 21st Annual Quantitative Analysis of Investor Behavior by Dalbar found that the asset allocation fund's overall performance is even worse than that of investors and their advisors. So, to do this yourself, determine the asset allocation that makes sense for your age. Uh, determine the, your income needs at retirement and risk tolerance. So. If you're in your 20s, this may be an allocation of, say, 90% in equity and alternative investments and 10% in bonds, 90-10. If you're in your 60s, this might be 60% in stocks and alternative investments and 40% in bonds. If you're retired with a low risk tolerance, plenty of pension income, and no apparent need to ever tap your portfolio, you might allocate 30% to equities and alternatives and 70% to bonds. Next, from the available mutual funds in your plan, select the funds in each asset class index that index their market, that are, that are passive, that are index funds, or that have the lowest expense ratio if you don't have index funds to, to select from. So for example, let's assume you're 55 years old and your employer's 401k plan has a global equity index fund a real estate investment trust that's REIT, index fund and a commodity index fund, and a total bond market index fund. Most all these are available through Vanguard. Uh, Fidelity, I'm sure, has those. Uh, they may not have the commodity fund. Uh, but a possible allocation would then be 30% in the global equity, because that will buy you stocks all around the world, 15% in the real estate, 15% in the commodities, so if you add 30, 15 and 15 together, that's 60. And 40% in the total bond market fund, hence 60-40. Set your periodic contributions to go into these same funds at the same percentage. So if you're putting in 1,000 a month, you're going to want 30% the global fund, 15% the REIT, 15% the commodity, 40% in the bond, the same allocation that you set up. And finally, pick a firm annual date to rebalance the portfolio yourself, uh, assuming that uh, your 401k doesn't do it. So schedule it as an important appointment and do it without fail, excuse, or hesitation. And this is imperative to long-term success. You've got to do this annually on a given day with no uh, ifs, ands, and buts around doing it. 
So as I said, even better, an increasing number of 401k plans will do this automatically and allow you to choose a periodic, quarterly, or annual rebalance option. If your fund does it, that's great. Set your allocation, choose the automatic rebalance option, and you're now on autopilot. And don't mess with it when things really look bad. Another solution is to find an investment advisor who employs a static buy and hold strategy with periodic rebalancing. Of course, there will be an annual charge. The average charge is uh, 1%, so that would be $10,000 on the first million. Uh, but compare that. Sounds expensive, and it is. But compare that with earning an extra $71,000 a year in income over 30 years. And it becomes a phenomenally good buy. Thanks for listening.